Hi everyone, welcome to What's Emily Making? Today I'm going to show you how to make this Halloween chandelier with supplies from the dollar store. We're gonna start our project with this spooky spiderweb basket. You'll need about eight packs of these spider rings, orange and purple, these iridescent votive glasses, or any votive of your choice, and two packs of these lights. Start by hot gluing the spider rings to the spider web basket. So I just started with the layer of the purple and I follow along the line of the basket to keep that shape. For this initial row, I do like to leave the front legs on. Um, so you're just going to keep on following the shape of the bowl. For the rest of the layers, I ended up cutting the legs off they just ended up getting in the way and you couldn't see as much of the purple detail and i really think that the kind of rhinestone effect is adds this glitter so here i am adding my next layer with orange you could do alternating purple and orange or purple spider orange spider whatever you want to do i just kind of fit these in um, wherever they seem to take the best shape um, and it's not going to be perfect or the same every time. For the next part, I snipped off part of the web. I left the top of the basket. It's gonna be what the votive is gonna sit on. I probably snipped off like three or four uh, little parts of the web. Then I do the votive. I just set it right on there and hot glue it. And for the last part, I just sort of glued moss wherever there were holes or you could see through and I glued battery packs onto the back and split it between the two glasses. I did some purple tool and flowers, some more Spanish moss, and there you have it, a DIY Halloween chandelier. Be sure to hit that plus sign and subscribe for more What's Emily Making. Bye everyone.